No, I, I assume uh, putting one's lips on it and trying to make a noise would be against uh, the rules yeah. at this point. Well, and, and the other thing is, too, this one doesn't have a red tag on it, but a lot of our wood has red tags on it, which means... They're poisoned. Yeah, they're poisoned. They're treated, yeah. yes. I mean, you can see the knife marks on the inside there. And is it a stopped pipe whistle? Uh, there's a little... Oh, my goodness, ivory. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. uh, it's ivory. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. On driftwood. I'd say spruce. A little yeah. tambourine like drum. I know it's the very shallow. Very this deep. one uh, from the Arctic Ocean area. From the form line. Painted on the inside of the drum. Traditional instrument? It, it was in influenced with the sailors and the whalers that came up and they. They had their fiddles. They decided to give it a try. Yeah. Very cool. This robe is to represent the original pioneers uh, from Old Metlakatla to New Metlakatla under the leadership of Father Duncan. And there were 823 individuals. individuals coming over. And Terry has used 823 warp exactly. in, the, in this robe to represent each individual. So when he brings the robe together in the dance, these individuals surround him completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terry has used other weaving patterns in this. Actually, that, that was from a Tim Chan basket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From uh, a style that was used by one of her teachers who was from Matlakatla, uh, Lucy Raymond. The diamond shape coming in to represent the smallest drop of water on the ocean reaching out the farthest distance with the cross in the middle of that representing how Christianity impacted the Simsian people. The bottom border is um, from the plated basketry, of the cedar bark plated basketry of the Simsian. And this is your 13th? This was my 13th robe, and B.L. Hadane, the uh, Tsimshan photographer that inspired the robe, actually was 13 when they migrated. Mm -hmm.